Yeah, okay, part uh, four. <laughs> I had to throw something in here because it's not just the Republicans and, you know, it's, it's, not, it's a bipartisan issue, okay? So Hillary Clinton basically said in 2009, um, I really consider President Mubarak um, to be friends of my family. This is what she said in public. This is what many other uh, leaders have said as well, you know, including uh, Republicans. Um, and, you know, it, it, it never... <laughs> how, how can you envision a State Department um, <laughs> without such comments, really? I mean, it is... It is what it is. The American oligarchy is very much interested in keeping people like Mubarak and their like in power in the Middle East because they somehow seem to think that it benefits, um, uh, well, it's actually a lie, they, they tell you it's going to benefit the American people or Western nations, when in uh, when in actuality, it's undermining everything, everything. And for now, for now, now they're coming out and saying, "Oh well, we support the people, people of Egypt. It's a great big democratic movement." Well, there's plenty, of, plenty of stuff going on behind the scenes now. You can rest assured, and. Uh, I will um, agree with Ron Paul on this, that uh, that movement, um, any kind of movement which is actually instigated by the people um, is going to be somehow undermined. As far as Egypt is concerned, that's going to be a very difficult problem now. Um, it's not so easily undermined anymore. Um, you know, there's only so much propaganda that will fly and actually be believed by the people, uh, not just in the Middle East, but also here. So, uh, we'll see how that all works out. Um, Mubarak is out of office now, and, you know, he has, <laughs> he had to step down, essentially, and, and now we've got a temporary military government there, and you know, they've, they've got their own interest spheres. Um, we, um, we really don't know too much about the internal situation there. And I'm, I'm not claiming to be an expert on, on this at all, okay? Uh, but surely the Egyptian people are smart enough to know that this Suleiman guy, you know, the VP um, uh, is <laughs> is not acceptable as any kind of uh, leadership uh, in Egypt, uh, and neither is the military if they're siding with this guy, you know. So things uh, are quite uh, problematic in the Middle East at this point. It is really quite a movement and um, and perhaps a sea change in power relationships uh, in that region. I'm, I'm not in a position to make predictions regarding this situation. All I can tell you is that it is um, it's dangerous um, because the Western powers, including the United States, you know, their interest sphere in, in Israel, they, they feel cornered now. And no telling what their reaction is going to be to all this. You know, it's all nice on the surface for right now, you know, supporting the people in uh, Egypt. But I'm not sure if that's actually their, <laughs> their intention.
once you've followed uh, American foreign policy long enough, you tend to become quite cynical about the whole damn thing. So that's kind of my position on it. I do uh, think that this was an important victory for the people of Egypt, and not just the people of Egypt, but for people in general. And once again, it showed the power of peaceful resistance. And to make, <laughs> to put these idiots and dictators on their guard. And believe me, they are on their guard now, which makes them possibly even more dangerous. I'll post a link to Glenn Greenwald's article um, in a couple of days um, on, on these uh, series of videos. Thanks for listening.